See, it, it wasn't as bad as I thought being in jail. Um, there were still there were still days where you could kind of feel the tension, and those were days that <laughs> they, they were scary. And uh, but things like uh, like yard, um, we're supposed to. I forgot what it was. Twenty minutes. Let's get like twenty minutes a day where we just it's basically concrete. Uh, right in the middle of the jail, um, there's like a fence, and then it's just a square concrete, and we just walk in circles. That's it. Couldn't go anywhere. Uh, it, it was just, uh, he'd walk in twos, or some people would run, or they'd do push-ups, or do as much as they could. I think that was one of those uh, things, um, you know, like the push-up bars. Uh, I'm not going to use that. But there was a lot of lockdowns because there was a shortage of staff while I was there. Uh, we're talking um, around the summer of 2014. And uh, so I was there, like I said, a little over two months. And uh, I only got yard about, I'd say, eight to ten times maybe in those 60-some days. Uh, th it, there would go days on end where we wouldn't be... Uh, wouldn't be allowed outside. And I know you're thinking, uh, yeah, well, you're in jail. You shouldn't. You shouldn't have privileges. You can't keep all those all those men locked up together in a big room full of metal for too long before before something happens. You just you go stir crazy. And that's not even the worst part. My well, the worst part for me was. Um, the searches. I had never experienced a search before in jail. And uh, nobody told me about it. We didn't chat about it. No one. Just one day I was sitting on my bed. Uh, I was reading, I think. And uh, a buddy that was next to me, he, I saw him look over really quick. And he goes, they're going to do a search. I didn't, don't know what that means. Dozens of officers come flying into the dorm, into the range. And you're to line up. So it was basically like, um, you know how you see those old army movies where you see the barracks, or I see the, not the barracks, where the, the, the beds are all stacked like this and they have their trunks in front? Picture that, bunk beds, no trunks. We had these like metal cubicles at the, in between our beds. We had like that. That's all we got, put our stuff in. It's not like cleaning stuff, extra t-shirts, socks, stuff like that. Um, the food you bought through commissary. Anyways. So they come busting in uh, for the search. And so we're, so we're standing in front of each other, two by two, all the way down. Whatever, how many guys are in there? 40? And then what you're made to do is, standing in front of each other with two officers... Um, quite aggressively, basically what you have to do is you have to take off all your clothes, completely naked, in front of, in front of everyone. Um, we have to do the old ah, thing. We have to lift up our, our uh, nut sack. We have to turn around, um, show them our ass, uh, bend over at the waist, and spread our ass cheeks. It's not fun, especially um, if you had trauma in the past with stuff like that. That's it's not something fun to go through. It's actually still something that I I think about because uh, just like because the, they were like quite aggressive. The guards are like, uh, and I'm complying, I'm not, and I'm I just said, hey, why don't we relax? I'm doing what you're saying, and he like told me he's like. I forget what he said. It was something. He called me a bitch. Okay. Like, you have ultimate power over me. I can't do anything. And I'm doing these humiliating poses for you in the search. And I don't have anything. Even though it's funny. Um, <laughs> I understand why they would do the search. My first time ever doing hard drugs was out of a big dude's butt. And it was hash. 
And, uh, but yet, I was quite um, honored to be invited to uh, partake because not everyone got to. So that was a big honor for me to even be asked to, to join in that. But I mean, freaky situation. First time I'm ever doing hard drugs. I'm in the bathroom in jail. Yeah. But I mean, those searches, I hope they don't do those searches like that anymore because I think they have full body scanners now. Which, because what they would do is they would basically, uh, well, they'd, a Kinder Egg, they'd put whatever they want and then whoop, up the bum it goes. Some people would put multiples up there. And yeah, but the search, I hope they don't do that anymore because that was, that was, I got, it happened twice while I was there. And uh, it was awful both times. It's still something that, and I just don't want, because if you think about it, there's a lot of people there that haven't even been found guilty yet. So they're doing this to um, innocent men as well. And, and I know that uh, we deserve it because we're in there. Nobody, nobody deserves that. Um, well, yeah, that's not true. We're in minimum security. So, but I mean, even, man, it's, it's really humiliating really humiliating and i know you're not supposed to take it personally but it's just not something that's fun to deal with and like they would rip the place apart like your bed would get flipped over they would take all your stuff doesn't matter whose stuff it was they just throw it everywhere your food my food would get mixed up like they're basically wanting to cause fights that's what it, because there's tension if my stuff's mixed with your stuff and we have to go through it because box thieves are like that's yeah you're gonna get knocked out if you're a box thief that means don't go into our cubicle and like I was always cool with it. I always had fruit and stuff in there and other things. And if somebody asked me, "Hey Dave, can I grab a blah blah blah?" I go, "Yeah, man, grab it, no problem." Um, but other people weren't cool about that. And uh, yeah, so all of our stuff would just get thrown everywhere together, and so forty criminals or inmates or whatever are supposed to act nicely and polite to each other and be like, oh, that's my chips, um, that's my chocolate bar, I think that's my Twix. No, it's chaos. It's just a hurricane goes through and then everybody leaves and we're all just left to pick up the pieces. And, uh, yeah, I honestly, I hope they don't do it like that anymore because it's quite traumatic, actually. <laughs>